elegance, extravagance, and iconic exaggerated sleeves. I asked my family to dig deep for examples. Barong Tagalog and the Filipiniana Turno are two types of traditional Filipino historical fashion. Typically designed as formal wear for special events, today there's a resurgence of sculptured Turno sleeves in day-to-day -day attire. It's all Spanish influenced, but I will say that when folks see our iteration of these big sleeves, they know that's a Filipino dress or top or whatever. So I definitely love that aspect. Artist Chi Chai Mateo is behind the Bay Area clothing brand, Empire in the Air. From rough sketch to someone's closet, pieces combine Mateo's love for art and fashion with Filipino-American community and culture. Her designs are intentional. Mateo dedicating much of her work to Panay's, Filipino women often depicted as landscape. That's a huge part of my art style because I think that women especially were powerful enough to embody a, like a landscape. And, you know, we provide and we give, but we also, with that matapang face, are asking for that respect back. <laughs> matapang brave or fierce it's deep meaning embodied with the purpose of educating a responsibility she and other film artists understand when they transform historical traditional looks and symbolism on items they sell me wearing a shirt and that says delano manos and people are like what is that and so it's an opportunity to have a conversation to provide an insight in regards to our experience as a collectively as a community michael delupo owns ugat clothing based out of san jose ugat meaning roots his business was born out of sheer interest it was 2009 pacquiao was winning abdc was going on jabawagis there was this demand for filipino culture delupo says his designs took off even without him fully understanding the filipino american history or cultural icons used However, that's changed. He's dedicated years to research and expanding his knowledge. Now his catalog reflects Philam experiences, struggles, and influence. There's a theme in terms of Filipino American History Month. It's a collection of images representing the I Hotel, the International Hotel, the Delano Manos, whether it's the 1587 of Morro Bay, whether it's the the Manila men in Louisiana. Themes of activism and advocacy now worn proudly. Each item, an intersection of Filipino-American history and culture presented in a contemporary way. I just like to think of like, okay, what is something that I would wear, what would my community wear? but how can I elevate it with that nod to history? Honoring Filipino-American History Month, I'm Amanda Del Castillo, ABC 7 News.